Alright, what's going on everyone? Dukes versus Whitecap in the last match of this week. Hello. Not much. Excited for some Friday night MLTP action. It's been a while since uh, this happened, I think. I feel like games have been at, on pretty regular days this season, which is kind of nice. Yeah. There's that one season where one of the teams played like all their games on Monday. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's... Uh... Do you mean like <laughs> like games once a day or uh, like see games play when they're supposed to be this season? Oh, like, like on Sunday night. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I remember one week of one season where it was like... It's like a Thursday game, yeah, yeah. and then a like couple Sunday games, and then a Monday game. <laughs> yeah, so that that was last season, um, or at least like that's as bad as I can remember last season. Yeah. Um, when yeah, you had one team play like not one Sunday game, and you know like lots of teams scheduling games for like Tuesdays and Wednesdays and stuff, which is like I suppose a bit better for viewership because it's like everyone gets to watch the same game, but. Right. It was a real hassle for like scheduling scrims and stuff. Uh, but yeah, for those of you that uh, have kind of um, <laughs> maybe lost track since uh, you know we last played, because I think it was like over two weeks ago now. Um, and I mean, you can check the <laughs> stream if you want. But uh, I have like the scores from all the games uh, up there for those of you that would like to see them. Um, and it's interesting to note as well, this is this being the last matchup, um, it has the chance to become just the second time in the last two seasons that uh, all games resulted in a sweep. Uh, and you can see there the last time that happened was last season in week four. <coughs> Where every team, uh, every winner swept. I think it's happened once a season for the last two seasons. So happened once in season thirteen, and then again in uh, season twelve. So as you can see, that is an interesting statistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because I, I was seeing it on the uh, subreddit, and I was like, damn, every. I mean, you know. I guess taken with a grain of salt since you have like overtime and stuff now, but right. um, every team that has won so far, including the overtime, has, I mean, it, they still have, the, <laughs> you know, the higher cap to, yeah. so technically it is a sweep. This game is pretty big for playoff implication, yeah, it so would seem. Do you want to? Oh, I just pulled up Tag for League and I was like, oh, but yeah. Um, I don't know really much at all about, uh, well, so TC Jukes, TC Jukes are sitting at 3 1 0 oh, 4. So 11 points. Whitecaps have, are at 4 0 oh, 0 oh, 4, so 12 points. Both of them are like third in their division. If TC Jukes, well, actually, if TC Jukes gets one point out of this, they'll at least be tied. With 21 Juke Street for second in the southeast. How does this actually? I don't know. How does the uh, seating work, or like who makes playoffs? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna look I'm gonna, that up. I'm gonna assume it's obviously the first seed from each division. How many teams are there? 12. Not 16. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I. Could I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look that up. Two teams from each. Protag in chat says eight teams make playoffs. First in each division. The next best four. Okay. I think that works out pretty well. Interesting. Okay. So, right now, Blockwork, Tears, 
RCP, Ghost Boosters are in top of the divisions. Center for Attention and Boost In both are very close. Yeah. So basically there's like Somalian Pirates are kind of in between. If either team can pick up a sweep, they'll get, I think, they'll basically put themselves in the seventh seed for playoffs, points wise. Yeah, I gotta imagine Tears and Center of Attention are relatively close to clinching. I don't know anything. Yeah. About, uh, how long is the season? Is there nine leagues, I think? Uh, I don't know. I think there's more than this one. So for lineups, we've got uh, Whitecaps having V-Star and Crossover on offense. Uh, I think that was the same, or they have the same lineup as last time, if you remember, um, with C-Baby and Waterwheel on defense. And then we've got, um, on the TC Duke side, uh, it'll be Side and I believe... Um, Boogie on defense with uh, Ty and Balgasol as uh, the offenders. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is the lineup. Yeah, this is the lineup that Whitecaps have used yeah. every half this season. Um, and for TC Jukes, I believe Raffle was starting for a while, but then Boogie has kind of since replaced him yeah. uh sides partner in d but they've i think they've had that for the past couple of weeks so no, nothing too new here mm -hmm. it's interesting to see both teams have like two kind of veterans and two more or less rookies i, I remember talking about this last time that uh um crossover did have some mltp experience but it was i think like 30 or 40 minutes um but it should be interesting to see how um, each team has one of their veterans on yeah, on each position. Yeah, um, I mean, between side and tie, yeah. <laughs> that's how many seasons of experience? Oh, God. It's absurd. Yeah. I just like that tie's been playing since season four. I think side's at least that. Interestingly, though, that um, even though, like, D-Star and C-Bivy have a little less experience. I feel like they've been, I don't want to say more successful because, I mean, like Side and Ty have both been on very good teams, but it just feels like D Star and C Bibby are kind of like more upstarty, I guess, because they've both been to the, what, like last two Super Bowls? Yeah. Um, so it's interesting to just see how, I don't know, I guess kind of uh, a little more momentum they have, like in their careers. But that's, like I said, definitely not the knock side and tie, because I know they both had their uh, playoff experiences themselves. Yeah. Side, of course, winning the Super Bowl Season 11. Ty, I don't think he... Has, did, did Ty win a mooper? I think he did, actually. Was he on... Uh... I uh, don't team? think he's won a mooper. Or not according to Typer League, but who knows. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, underway here on Cash. Wait. Oh, right, this is week five. I got really confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll have uh, Cash to start off and then go fuck yourself. So, so, so that'll be interesting to see. Out. We'll see, like, multiple weeks of practice on... Uh, Giffy, you go fuck yourself. Yeah. Whereas I feel like most teams playing it in week five, part one, had probably barely practiced on it. Crossover with a quick out, but Boogie has the boost. It's pretty quiet here so far as the uh, first minute. 
about to be finished here. Yeah, so how do, how do you think this map has kind of, uh, I don't want to say like evolved, but how, how have players started to kind of play it differently now that they've had a season or two with it under their belt? Um, honestly, I think a lot of the stuff is pretty similar. It's yeah. just that people have gotten better at it. Yeah. Um, I, I have seen a little more, oh, Damn. Grab it back <laughs> oh I was close. Nice move from side. He's still got a chance though. 2v2 blocks in base now. Just saw him not able to do quite as much as he would have liked with that boost block, and B-Star is there to make the play. One thing I think I've noticed, and I'm not sure this is just cash specific, but is that teams playing a little less or coming off re a little more. Yeah. Which I think goes hand in hand with playing anti on from both sides. Like if your team's playing anti, you'd be more likely to come off re. And if you're getting anti then you might as well do something. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we had mentioned that last time. I don't <laughs> I don't even really remember the last stream, but um I remember talking that about that a little bit that uh this map, especially as like a new one where anti is already like so prevalent in competitive play. I feel like it feeds into that aggressive regrab really well. Right. As uh Gasol brings in the first cap of the game for um, TC Jukes, who now have a one cap lead. Let's see how uh, white caps go about getting a reset here. Sorry, that was Ty with the cap, not so. <laughs> Ooh, crossover with a good return there as uh, white caps did have the anti as well, like you mentioned. Um, so able to do it on both sides and make the play. Power-ups coming up here. Looks like uh, Whitecap should be in position to win their own pup. Ty will pick up a rolling bomb on the TC Juke side. I haven't seen power-ups play too big of a factor. I think probably four of them have been rolling bombs or something like that. But certainly, I think a, a big thing that I've started to notice is how well teams use power-ups, especially Tag Bros. Makes such a huge difference. Crossover with a nice boost there. Still oh, has a chance. Somehow. How is he not dead? And the return's coming base, <sighs> but it ends up taking a poor boost. Had the chance there if he had just uh, waited another second there. The opportunities kept uh, falling in his lap there. Actually, one thing about cash as it happens is that I remember last time we talked about uh, mid-game resets mm -hmm. and keeping reset for extended periods of time. Like after the first couple minutes or whatever, yeah. And I, I, it seems that cash makes it pr relatively easy. Yeah. Not like a gimme, but compared to most maps. Yeah, I can uh, that happens more. I can definitely see that as like, um, like by what I remember from playing it, um, it seems like once you know, especially defenders, um, kind of oh, playing as boogie. should be a cast three. B star takes the good boost. So does Boogie, oh, and he ends up hitting the bomb very well. Clean. Like second cap, yeah. Um, I was going to say, though, I, I remember as like a defender kind of seeing the prevent stats <laughs> uh, yeah. really like pile up once players, it's been, like in game as well as kind of over maybe the course of the season or whatever, um, get more comfortable playing, um, uh, playing defense. Like, you can really rack up. Uh, a lot of prevent if you're able to keep the reset yeah for sure i feel like it's a pretty straight it, the base plays pretty straightforwardly you know there's three boosts on bomb you don't have to worry about a whole lot there's there's no there's one exit like if these fences can get chemistry and lock down and diffuse stuff yeah it, it's pretty easy got uh, two juke juices for tc jukes both Kind of going just by the wayside, <laughs> and so far a pretty quiet game uh, from both teams. It's tie though with a nice move. Crossover just had the angle though. I think he used that one team tile actually to effect. Oh, but Gasol's out with a chance here. Boogie can hit. Oh my goodness! 
Boogie was going for the boost block, I think, but ended up getting a return as well and gets them the third cap. And Gasol, ooh, gets shut down. Do you start with a chance here? I think he has the angle. Yeah. So White Caps will get the first cap of the evening. Although I do give up a tag pro, so let's see if they can defend against this. Take these cams. We'll be able to use it to get out water wheel with the boost. And we'll Oh nice shot. The right way. Crossover trying to get past the Saul now. Saul with a bit of a risky grab there. Couldn't really see where the team was spawning. Now D Star two to B, not gonna be able to get past them. Chance now past three, but still two ahead. His water wheel and crossover slow him down. And too many white caps in base for him to capitalize. So I'll up the get a, the pop over regrab, and that will probably. Oh, never mind. <laughs> PC Juice doing a much better job on uh, power ups with. Uh, 11 to 3 margin, but I think like you said, a lot of them have been rolling bombs that uh, haven't necessarily yielded much. Yeah, I think only one or two tag pros. You saw with a nice use of crossovers, bat four is going to be able to get him out past two. Going to have to slow it down though as Boogie had the angle. Waiting for the boost to spawn, it will for him, but Gasol reads it well. Side now trying to get the anti and he does get the reset for TC Jutes, but not much doing on the offensive side for uh, Ty and Boogie. Now D Star with the chance. Able to work Good nice moves here. Side might have the ankle, but Water Wheel with the Nice block. block from Water Wheel. Whitecaps able to narrow the lead down to one. And they, and they pick up a tight pro and rolling. Rolling bomb. It's going to be defused. They did have the good positioning, but uh, a bit of a misplay there by Water Wheel and a crossover. Now Ty should have this boost, and he does. And the scoring train ends there for Whitecaps. Gasol with an out. Maybe a boost to work with. <laughs> Side goes for the boost block on D Star. Uh. Maybe just a second lead. That'd be cool. Ty now with a good boost. Crossover does the same though. Is able to get ahead, but spikes himself. Ty should have the cap here, and he does. And the lead. Good from side. Two. Last round of pups. Ty will get a rolling grab here. And we'll get the fuse, and doesn't make anything of the defusal. So White Caps will keep the flag in base. Salt does a nifty boost to grab, although Vivian Water Wheel at D Star could. Um, no. I think it's moves, but uh, yeah. <laughs> three on defense. TC Duke's playing it safe here. Ty with the last second chance here. I don't he know if he has enough has time. time. I think he has the time. Ooh, the crossover mm. D star there in place. It will stay a two cap lead for TC Jukes. Huge pup advantage going to TC Jukes that half. Yeah, 13 to 5. I think he has the top defender. With uh, nine point returns. So I noticed that hold numbers are pretty low from both teams. Um, but prevent wasn't ridiculously high, just I think most of the caps were pretty quick or set up off of regrab. Nothing like. I don't know. I, I don't think. I think both defenses 
managed to stop regrab chains pretty quickly. Yeah, no, I think. Uh, All right, I'm launching half two. Yeah. Um, definitely, like you said, it, that kind of. One second, one second. Um, that ability for either team to, you know, have that kind of dominating reset, uh, like we were talking about, I think that was definitely prevalent. Um, really for both teams, uh, you know, throughout that last half, and really any capping opportunity was kind of one and done. Um, both teams did an effective job playing anti and using power-ups to keep the flag in base. Crossover had a good opportunity there, but couldn't quite cap it off. Mm -hmm. Good job, too, by uh, TC Dukes to kind of um, catch up and neutralize the uh, opportunity there. Saul still working his way in. Crossover though with a good bomb. And both fly carriers just kind of taking it around. Looks like neither team will go for anti here as power ups are coming up. And this should favor uh, TC Dukes here. As Ty is able to get out past three, and the tag from base is going to give him plenty of room to walk it in. Yeah, there's a nice combo play from side, and I think it was Boogie there. That should be another cap as well. <laughs> Gasol. It's a flashy way around. A little flashy. <laughs> but D-Star is right back out past three on the other side looking for a counter cap. Vivi does just enough on that boost to... Give D-Star all the room he needs to boost straight in for the cap. Already a much more exciting half here as uh, <laughs> both teams yeah. not quite matching the uh, cap total of last time, but getting there much faster. <laughs> so it looks like both teams will be reset as power-ups are soon to come up. And now a three cap lead for TC Dukes. Nothing doing there with two rulings diffused. I was gonna say we can expect a quiet minute, but <laughs> both teams in that last minute doing a pretty good job of getting up, getting out without power ups. Yeah. Saw boosting in, trying to get some help from Ty, but uh, Water Wheel is able to work over the block. Boogie with a bit of an air boost there, but D Star still gonna be. And, so and after, yeah, after that minute of chaos of sorts, uh, <laughs> things have calmed down significantly. Yeah, we'll see again if, like we were talking about, teams kind of get settled down and work their way into kind of a uh, prevent chain, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're trying to use this rolling bomb side, you should keep him locked down with a juke boost and he will. Ty looking to give himself some time, but Gasol not able to get there quickly enough. So both teams will again maintain their resets. Seen crossover and D-Star try that uh, T 
team boost grab a couple times. Not sure it's worked a whole lot, but you never know. <laughs> Tie with an out. Crossover. Juking around in base. Just staying alive. Oh. But not long enough. Hey, the first scoring chance we had seen in a while, and Ty is able to uh, make the most of it. Let's see if Casal can't quite back it up, but Ty's still with the rolling bomb. Has the boost to work with, but D Star reads it well. And it looks like both teams will settle down again. DC Jukes bring up their lead to four caps. A lot of flaccids. I think both teams a little more aggressive on the grabs. Defense is happy to let them grab and <laughs> just get some quick returns. Yeah, I think particularly I'm, I'm seeing a lot on the uh, TC Juke side, a lot of solo grabbing. Um, either when their teammate is dead and back in base or just not really able to offer much help. But Ty going to be able to just do, that, do just that and uh, get two quick returns with the Tag Pro. Uh, oh, and a nice block from side. Maybe a little accidental, but Casal's still going to be returned. A little bit of a missed opportunity there with the tag pro. Got him out, but not much else. If they can keep this regrab chain going, uh, that would be pretty big for them. Ty's somehow able to just get around the blocks, and a kiss should get them the reset if uh, Gasol can get past water wheel. He will. He's now past three. See, baby's going to get aggressive, but crossover is there. Just yeah. see Vivi ended up slowing down Gasol just enough. Yeah, for sure. Ty with a nice boost to get out past the queue here, return. Could set them up for a reset if Ty went for the kiss. Although uh, Whitecaps were getting to regrab. Ty with the with the double return and now Ty with the regra uh rolling bomb. And this should be a cap if Whitecaps can't make it a grab. Boogie ended up bumping into Ty, but uh, no damage done as he's able to use the rolling bomb to bring in the cap. Yeah, the regrab chain's still going here for TC Jukes. Looking for the sack box. That's not gonna work out. It's actually pretty dangerous here, going the other way. Ooh. Although, Gasol stays alive and CW does not. Yeah, like you said, uh, TC Jukes putting themselves in a good position here, finally getting something going offensively. And sustaining it. Although, just as I say that, Seabiv is able to uh, get down the anti. But yeah, a good little sequence there by TC Jukes to uh, kind of give themselves some breathing room as we get to these last few minutes. Eastar could have an opportunity here. Is that pressed a few, but Casal wisely waits on the boost and shuts that down. A little over a couple minutes now here. We'll see what the uh, Whitecaps can get going offensively. Side and Boogie have been playing very well together over this uh, kind of middle period of the second half. Just as I say that though, D Star able to get out. Crossover just missing the return. Ty doing the wise thing by trying to stay alive, and he's able to do so for just long enough. Water wheel though, trying to get a regrab train established of his own. Gonna have to wait a little bit as uh, those 1v2 blocks. Oh, see, baby. That was so close. Block. Water wheel somehow still alive. But side is now out and free. To give him his offensive uh, partners some space. Water wheel though, still gonna be returned. Now, I turning the other way in favor of TC Jukes, and Boogie's gonna bring in the counter cap. So, after a couple chances for Whitecaps to uh, kind of get themselves back in it, uh, TC Jukes just turned the tables on them and bring in a cap of their own. 
that should probably just about do it for this game. I don't think they're going to be able to put up seven or six caps in a minute. <laughs> tie with an out and only one to beat and that'll be an easy tally on the scoreboard at this point and Gasol with another opportunity racking on the garbage time caps doesn't look like uh, white caps will be able to kind of give themselves any momentum coming into next half either as uh like you said, CC Duke's just kind of piling on the last second caps. So that'll do it. I believe that was 11 to 3? Yes, correct. It was a really strong showing from TC Duke's there. Um, played pretty solidly, quite solidly, I'd say, and were able to capitalize on a lot of Whitecaps' mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, stayed in the game. Really just kept give, giving themselves the chances they needed to get caps. This does, of course, bring us to the new map in MLTP. Go fuck yourself. So this will be both teams' first time playing it in, you know, season play. Yeah, comp yeah for the season regular play. I'm sure they've been scrimming on it. But last week I watched some games and played. It was interesting to see that a lot of teams had some different approaches to it. Really. Um. And we'll see, I guess we'll see like kind of which team adapts. It's probably going to come down to adaptation to what the other team throws at them. Mm. Um, my guess is that offenses will struggle a bit at first because aren't too many strong grabbing mechanics. And so it'll be interesting to see which team can kind of bust open the other defense first. Yeah, I had just seen this map uh, for the first time today, actually. Um, <laughs> and right. It, but it's really interesting to see, like, the kind of, like, hodgepodge of, like, different existing maps that it is. Cause, right. So you, you've got the, you know, the kind of dealer gate. Um, what else did I like? So, and then the platypus kind of portal. Yep. Um, which you could definitely do a lot with, I imagine. Um, because like, you know, you can go straight through and throw off the defender, um, or you can kind of like bounce it off this wall, and you know, go a different way. Um, and then in the base you've got the kind of cash corner, like we just saw, at least with the bomb. Right, right. Um, where it's off the wall, and you kind of gotta, um, you know, work with your defender to prevent um, the offender from bombing off the corner and getting it grabbed that way. It's a lot of different, uh, I guess, existing mechanics to work with or against. Um, it's in, or at least it'll be interesting for me to see how all those kind of work together. Like you said, yeah, for approaches sure. that teams take. Good chance for uh, DC Jukes here. That tag pro. But yeah, that, that gate plays such a huge factor because not only, you know, is it, 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 you don't have to position too far out of the way in order to get it. It's just not like in the way, like Emerald, where it's like you're right next to it. And okay, it's it's like an extra tile of advantage, whatever. Yeah. It's, I, I find it to have some really interesting things happening with OD, especially, mm -hmm. as Ty will freeze in there for a camp. Not sure what happened. 
Yeah, he took a, an interesting boost again. Like I had said, he, he took it like straight in, but um, he was able to kind of use this wall to uh, change direction pretty effectively. I will let you know as well, I have Christmas music on that <laughs> I didn't oh, know was in the uh, playlist. I must have added that to this one by accident. But. Uh, so Waterwheel trying to lock things down here with the Tag Pro. Uh, see if they're going to get the return. Uh, crossover going to give the good handoff to D-Star. Gasol might have the angle on him though. But no, D-Star is going to be able to work it under. Some good blocks above from C. Bivy and Waterwheel. And Whitecaps are able to tie it up. Ooh, nearly opportunity for both teams here actually. As Gasol has one to beat. And oh, the, oh, bomb, the bomb, bomb from C. Bivy. Waterwheel tries oh. to delay it, um, but Gasol is able to work around Boogie's block and get the second cap in. Bivy making some moves. Ooh, nice I love Gasol with a nice snipe. Stalemate here. <laughs> I think it was a bit of an interesting grab there from Crossover if he wanted to just kind of delay him, but he does end up getting out. Tyron out with an opportunity here. Ty nice boost. Being able to use the walls to his advantage. Side looking to make it more. Boogie with the anti. That should be a cap. Yeah. See, it looks like he was going <laughs> to boost right in there. But uh, Ty able to work it in just in time. And TC Jukes definitely looking solid on this map so far. Yeah. I was going to say, and solid on both maps so far. As they yeah. Were, uh, Really able to get themselves out early. Um, Ty should have another one here. There's already a 5 1 lead here with uh, still more than halfway to go on this map. Or this half, I should say. Gasol is opting to run crossover in some circles. Surprised he didn't either force it there or just die, because now the type kind of goes to waste. Yeah. Probably not the best decision. As Whitecaps look like they'll be reset. Ooh, Ty almost yeah. with the bomb. That that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Having watched last week or this week's action, but you know, the first time around, especially when the bomb is contested. Uh, it's a lot of people end up in the spikes, offense and defense alike. I feel like it, it can be one of two extremes, though, at least on the flag carrier's perspective, where you can either get like sent straight into the spike, or if they're able to kind of bounce off that corner. I, I did just see it a couple times um, where the flag carrier is able to give himself a lot of space um, if he's able to hit it off the corner there. Yeah. Because um, everyone else gets sent flying, like you said, possibly into the spikes. Um, but the flag carrier is kind of, uh, you know, given a lot of space, uh, separate from the defenders, I mean. Crossover with a nice move on side now. He's going to be able to get past three, and they need this cap to kind of get themselves back in, but Ty with a great bomb. Just in time. Huge bomb from Ty there. So almost with a nice snipe on D-Star, who's still giving himself a chance here. Almost able to get around the blocks, but uh, Boogie and Side are able to close in on him. See Bivy with a bit of an error boost, though, is going to give another uh, cap to TC Jukes. They're now up 6-1 to one with uh, four minutes to go. Let's see what Gasol does here. Second time I've seen him do that boost, actually. The boost to pop with the flag. First time. Made something of it, but that time just kind of gets returned. Two Juke Juices on offense here, though, for TC Jukes. Let's see if uh, Ty is able to make the most of it here. Cross with an insane boost, though, from downtown. And Whitecaps are able to get the reset here. Still nothing nice. doing on offense, though. There's a nice delay on the return from side. Because if, if he had gotten it when could have, I think it would have been up past three. Yeah. Whitecaps would have been, but wisely waits just in time for Boogie to get uh, back and get, get an anti. Crossover with the next chance for Whitecaps here. 
It's all in a good position to delay him, but uh, crossover still alive, but not really not really able to uh, work around the defense, offensive defense there. <laughs> what a boost from your saw. This is actually a really good opportunity. Ty, not able to get in a 1v2 stop again. So white caps get their second cap of the half. Definitely going to need some momentum here. Yeah, I was going to say, if they don't get anything else, then it'll be kind of like just a consolation cap, because they, like I said, they haven't really been able to do much in the way of establishing like a consistent uh, offense here. Nice try on the corner boost, but CJ Van Water, we were able to lock him down. We start trying to use the block of crossover, but not quite able to do so, and he too will be returned. Just under two minutes to go here, power ups both, it looks like going to TC Juice. Yeah, TC Juice uh, seems to be continuing their pop dominance from last game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 14 to 2. Oh, wow. It was it's that bad. It seems like a lot of them, or at least a little bit. Ooh, more. nice boost from Gasol. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunate there from Ty. Still got a chance, though. Good pass one. And V-Star is going to be returned. <laughs> Get an awkward boost there. Crossover now with a chance if D-Star can get a solo on Ty, but Ty wisely opts for the kiss. Although Water Wheel will again be out. D-Star and Cross are containing Boogie. Oh, Boogie makes a move, um, then goes straight into the spike. It's going to be important here for Whitecaps to keep this reset and optionally, uh, optimally get a cap. Oh, my. Up. oh, oh no. Really unfortunate there for Whitecaps. That, that was their chance to, to get that momentum I was talking about. Was yeah, you can see that Water Wheel was like lining up the, the boost block. Yeah. And then looked like he didn't need it, but then hit it anyways and ultimately just unfortunate. Perhaps a little bit of uh, rookie nerves there as he didn't really see the, um, you know, that the cap was going to happen. Yeah. He kind of had it in his mind that he needed to make a boost block and then didn't really read the situation. So, 20 seconds left. TC Juice will take the win on the first half. And it'll be up to Whitecaps to kind of get their bearings on defense and uh, keep the flag locked down in base for their offense to kind of get a little bit of breathing room and room to work with. Side putting up a hell of a statistical half with uh, almost four minutes of prevent, 21 returns, two caps, and six pups. <laughs> Mr. Everything. So as it stands, DC Jukes giving themselves a very good chance of earning one of those playoff spots. Mm -hmm. Got, uh, let's see how many points. So win from game one puts them at 14. And if they win here, if they complete the sweep, which is looking pretty likely, uh, that'll put them above the Symbolian Pirates for the seventh seed overall, I believe. Third wild card. So. And also making my graphic look very good. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a full week of sweeps. <laughs> see here for those of you that uh, didn't see the open TC Duke's looking to make it the third time in as many seasons that every matchup is a sweep
So here we go. Whitecaps looking to get themselves back into this. At least get some points. Good start. D stars out. Side. Situation well. Yeah, side up for the early anti, and that's going to pay off. Boogie with a good chance here. Oh. <laughs> the bomb spawns just in time for C Bibby. But this still could be tough. Ooh, Ooh Boogie, Boogie Jukes that crossover. Crossed over. Haha. <laughs> 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 Ty with another chance here. Water wheel on D star. We're on a gate though, causing him yep. to work his way backwards. I think he's going to boost up top. <laughs> Water wheel thought so too, and it's going to be a return. That's kind of the two for one OD positioning again. <laughs> Still a good chance Excellent. though for TC Jukes, although their Kyper just got returned. Again though, TC Jukes setting up this uh, offensive kind of dominance at this point pretty early on. This all still with the chance has not been returned yet, and that will be the second cap already for TC Jukes. The lead is now up to six. Water rail fakes the spit and gets the gate. So that should be Getting a reset, reset for uh, white caps. Yeah, TC Dukes get the same as well. And it's felt like whenever uh, <laughs> white caps kind of have that momentum, even starting to develop, uh, TC Dukes have just been able to get the necessary resets. Yeah, for sure. It looks, uh, from what I've seen, I've seen a lot of uh, smart flag carrying and kissing. Mm -hmm. From Ty, especially. Just doing enough to keep regrab chains going and get resets when necessary. So this should good be a good chance. For white caps. Finally able to get out past a good amount. Let's see if their defense can lock it down, and they will. All the time in the world to cap that. <laughs> so the lead now back to five for TC Jukes. As white caps looking to. Uh, again. Get something going consistently on offense. Good grab from D Star. Get some pass too. Ty may have the angle, but D Star is going to get the boost and boost straight in for the cap. Nice gate win from Y Real there. Although we can see some anti from TCG stopping any chains of caps, really. Yeah. For white cap starting to lock it down a bit better though. As crossover will take the tag throw on offense. Two power ups for uh, white caps on offense, but looks like they will both uh, end up being fruitless as they'll both get quickly returned. Saw with him out here. He's gonna double back. Time let me throw blocks. A nice. Mm, never mind. <laughs> Good I thought boost, it was out. Nice boost spawn from the uh, yeah. guys, but yeah, very well played there by Gasol. Yeah, it looked like he was setting up regrab quite nicely. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, didn't quite work out the way he wanted. D star with a nice snipe through the uh, gap between the portal and the wall. Ooh. And Ty gets his own gate. <laughs> yeah, see Bibby again with a good opportunity, but just one on defense for Whitecaps meant he had to just kind of hold around. He made a nice move out of the corner, as did the water wheel just there. But, um, again, for both player carriers right now, they're making nice moves, but it doesn't end up meaning, any meaning anything. D-Star with another chance here. Ty's going to stay alive, though. And Boogie... Gonna get the return for TC Jukes now, but capping opportunity for Ty. Nice. He's able to work his way past the defense. Both like here is just holding around now. See, Bibby will have the anti for white caps. But Ty's gonna be past a few here now. Boogie gets an important return. Let's see if D Star can make a play, and he won't quite be able to. Lead back now to five for uh, TC Jukes. Waterwheel is going to pick up that tag pro. 
trying to get his team to reset here. Crossover not quite going to be able to get out though. And now it's going to be up to Bibby to kind of slow down Boogie here. But he won't quite be able to. Oh, the oh, that tag for spawning. Tag yeah. Still going to be capped though for Boogie as, uh, again, not really enough players where they need to be on the white caps end. DC Juice managing to stay quite disciplined uh, throughout this this game and the last, really. This tie almost has it. But we now we see a flaccid from crossover inside his past three. D Star has to make a play, goes for it. Not able to get it. Crossover finally going to get a reset here for white caps, but things kind of starting to slip away again for them. As, uh, I will pick up a tag pro and most likely continue the hold train here for DC Juice. Crossover looking to use that portal, but kind of mistimes it. I think he wanted the return there, and Gasol will be able to get another camp. Watch mm -hmm. a now with an opportunity, and he will be past a few. Able to take the corner. Boogie is just not in time. And a good patience on Crossover's side to uh, hold off on that bomb. Gasol, though, going to catch up to uh, D-Star and prevent the second cap. And we mentioned well before that uh, DC Duke's just doing a really good job of anytime <laughs> anything gets going for Whitecaps, they're able to just kind of close it off where it starts. Really just allowing one cap or nothing. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good resets from DC Cukes this game. And I are just being there. Like seemingly just like being there together turns. Yeah. Stop regrab. Like both teams have the reset for the time being. Crossover though able to take the handoff past two and he will be past three but reads the block kind of poorly. Uh, he had the wide open space below Ty here. <laughs> Bring it right in but yeah that's just kind of unfortunate. Very lack of communication. We start trying to make it past two. It's all gonna be able to probably delay him for a little while though with this rolling bomb but he gets returned instead. He star uh, wisely <laughs> holding off on the kiss. Boogie making some moves to stay alive. This could be a counter cap opportunity. Where crossover uses the bomb. Does not go into the spike. Ooh, a nice knife oh, nice from D star. Well, it's Able to get one back on the board. Yeah, still making plays here. Able to do the same though, makes a nice read on C Bibby's boost, and both teams will be reset. And good to see on the white cap side that they're still uh, <laughs> having some fun. Although these are again, yeah. mm, well, well, it's a need to make a play, but C Bibby does it for him. These are now with the tag pro, though, no, oh, no offense. <laughs> But yep, well, I'm gonna be forced to grab, and now it looks like neither uh, Whitecaps offense will be able to do anything. <laughs> That's not Boogie, gonna get a good block from Ty here, he will be past two. Looks like he went over that portal, but. Oh, just missed the flag. He's using those 45s to the extent that map makers want people to use them, which is just yeah. nice to see, speaking as a map maker. <laughs> and that will do it. So another dominating win for TC Jukes. Boogie with 
Boogie inside both putting up good stats. Looks like White Caps even managed to grab more pups that half, but weren't really able to do anything with them. Snack in chat saying, lol, implying this map was designed with any thought. Glad that we're having these kinds of maps in MLTP. <laughs> well, I mean, this was the map contest map, no? Yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I think back to your point about dominating wins. I mean, I think the, the word that I use that I definitely agree with is discipline for TC Jukes. Um, just all around in terms of like getting power ups and uh, in particular like flag carrying I think you had mentioned as well um, I, I liked what I saw a lot from their offense of uh, just getting yeah. themselves in a position to let their defense do the work and uh, you know just a lot of their caps ended up being easy walk-ins um, and maybe a little bit of you know undisciplined play on the part of white caps um, like I had mentioned before with some solo grabbing, but, um, yeah, I think definitely maybe even like looking forward to, um, the part of TC Jukes and perhaps, uh, stretching into playoffs, uh, if they can keep up that kind of disciplined play, I can, I can see them doing pretty well. Yeah, for sure. It'll be interesting. I don't know who they play coming up because things are weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone does, no. But, hold on, let's see if it's known. No, yeah, okay, it's not because, yeah, things are weird. Yeah. <laughs> but, actually, hold on, I can figure it out. I think they had... I think they play some Bali and Pirates next week. Yeah. Which is actually going to be a really good match. I think two pretty evenly matched teams, as well as one with big playoff implications. Yeah. So that'll be good to watch. And I think this makes white caps are playing. That that was known, I think. Yeah, so next week they play RGB. Yeah. Next week being, of course, two days from now. <laughs> oh yeah, that that'll be interesting to see as well. I wonder if um either of these teams has even played like the next map in scrims. Scorpio? Um, yeah. Or I mean like, like you know, practice yeah. on it together as a team. Because <laughs> it's definitely a short That's turnaround true. for both these teams. Well, I'm luckily for that. them, it's a map that everyone knows at this point. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so that'll do it for me. I don't know if uh, you get anything to say. <laughs> no, thanks for letting me commentate yeah, with you. No, thank you for uh, coming along again as well. I, I always really appreciate it. All right, so that'll do it for us. Uh, maybe back for Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we'll see if any of the games look good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for coming along, everyone who did. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll uh, see you next time.